What does elite performance mean to you? Well, the concept of elite performance, um, we uh, examined at the end of last season everything that we were doing cricket-wise here at Derbyshire. And it's all about raising the bar, um, raising our standards, being ultra-professional in everything that we do. And the concept of elite performance was, was born out of that. And we've lent uh, a little bit uh, on what the ECB have done um, from the low point of English cricket um, to taking the test team to number one in the world. Um, so a lot of what we've uh, picked up on elite performance has been driven from what the ECB have done um, really to, to get the test team up to number one. And um, quickly, what's the next step? Obviously we've got the coaches applications coming in. What's the next stage of this elite performance structure? The key thing obviously was to, to re recruit the elite performance director. We've obviously done that in, in Graham. Uh, we're delighted with that choice. It was an exhaustive exercise that we went through to both identify candidates for the EPD role um, and then interview them. It's a very rigorous interview process and I think the whole of the uh, supervisory board here uh, are pleased with the decision that we've made and, and certainly the appointment of Graham seems to have gone down very well with uh, both the supporters and indeed the players who seem to be reacting very well to, to the new regime. Um, the next step is to uh, identify the elite performance coaches. Uh, we've had over 30 applicants for the EPC roles. These are the guys that are going to support Graham um, in the various facets of uh, the, the game, batting, bowling, wicket-keeping, fielding, etc. Um, and that process, the applications are in, um, and we're now sifting those applications and look to appoint those EPCs to support Graham by the uh, uh, end of January. And it's important to build this structure as a club continue to push for long-term success in all competitions. Very much so, Chris, yeah. We're looking to compete in all three of the domestic competitions moving forward. I think uh, everybody connected with the club has been a bit disappointed with our one-day performance. Obviously, we had the success in the championship in 2012. We need to push on uh, in one-day cricket. And through the interview process um, to identify and appoint Graham, We've picked up a lot as, as a club, um, as chief executive myself, the other people involved in the interview process, um, about where the game is going. And the game has moved on uh, a heck of a lot, both tactically and uh, in terms of its use of technology um, in recent times. And uh, the whole elite performance culture looks to encapsulate that forward momentum um, with the use of technology and, and tactics. Uh, and we'll be looking to embrace that as well. Without obviously giving too much away behind closed doors, have the board set any sort of goals for Graham? Is there any sort of pressure straight away? Is there or is it just a get in, build a structure, build the foundations for the future? I, I think everybody connected with the club, particularly players, really liked and enjoyed the experience of competing against the very best players in the land in Division 1 last summer, uh, and we're going to miss that. Uh, we want to get back there. So the overriding game of uh, Derbyshire County Cricket Club is to become a sustainable first division county. That doesn't mean bobbling up and down, bobbing up and down between Division 1 and Division 2. It means creating a team and a platform that's capable of sustaining a lengthy period in Division 1. In addition to being able to compete in the two uh, one day competitions as well. Uh, I suppose there's been a lot of buzz around the area. Uh, last week the players were in nice and early all week, 7am. But... Just feel as a real good feel good factor around the place now. It, cer it certainly feels like that in inside the club. It certainly feels like that. I think we need to convey that to people out on the outside world um, in terms of membership and, and uh, our business uh, partners. Uh, we're very reliant on them. We had a great year last year. Membership and commercial income, ticket sales were all very very much ahead. Um, but we think it's going to be a very exciting campaign this year, um, back in Division 2, but striving from the off for promotion. Um, so I'd appeal to all of the businesses and members to, uh, to stay with us and support us during what should be an exciting 2014 season.